coming up in the December 2012 issue of Quiet and Electric Flight International, we've got a review of the Seagull KA-8B glider, one of their latest kits. So to preempt that, we thought we'd make a short video sequence of a recent flying session to uh, let you see how it all went. As you can see, she's a beautiful scale model. She's made of all balsa and ply construction, covered in aura cover film. She has a three meter span, or 118 inches in old money. The wing's two piece, they simply slide onto two uh, fiberglass tubes, normal style, and held with wing bolts. Six servos, two full size for the rudder and elevator, with four more midi size, which will do for the spoilers and ailerons. She's an easy build, there's very little to do uh, in terms of actual building, it's mostly a case of fitting the control surfaces and then installing the servos. If there's one fiddly bit, it's perhaps installing the spoilers, which take a little bit of care to uh, install the torque rods as it's actually inside the wing. To get her in flying trim, she needed just a few ounces of nose weight, which I tucked down in the very nose cone of the aircraft for maximum effect, and she balanced perfectly at that point. I was just using a normal 4.8 receiver pack, by the way, not a lithium battery. The flying is extremely smooth. This is a lovely aircraft. If you've ever fancied a scale glider but didn't really want to build one, this is certainly one for you. It's got that really steady, locked-in feel that you can only really get from a big scale glider. Even a buzzard took a fancy to the uh, bird-like scheme on this model. That's one of two schemes, by the way, that Seagull do for this model. One is this uh, Seagull stroke Bold Eagle type uh, scheme on the nose of the aircraft. They also do a red and yellow, more conventional scheme, which I'm not sure is actually available in the UK at this time, but maybe that will change. We're actually slope soaring on this occasion from the gorgeous Malvern Hills, which uh, are just outside the Traplet offices here near Malvern. This was about a 15 mile an hour steady breeze. The glider performed really well. It was very steady. There were no problems in this level of breeze. This model is uh, also suitable for aero towing, i.e. with a powered launch from another aircraft. The model actually has a servo box arrangement in the front of the cockpit that you can attach a rope through the nose of the aircraft to a release mechanism inside. And so it's fully capable of being aero towed from a flat field site very convenient.